I speak unto thee this day, and I say, Do not be ashamed to be needy of me. For I say, When you are indeed needy of me, not ashamed to confess the same, it is me, the living God, who will hear you when you cry. But I say, For the man who is self-reliant and proud of his own estate, I say, Such a man is considered a fool before me. For I say that he will be deceived by his pride, by his self-reliance, by his surety that he is so capable in himself. And I say it is me, the living God, who will pass him by, because he is not needy of me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that my people would obey my commands and walk in the same. That is, not looking to keep themselves in self-contained worlds and so sure of what it is that they do. But I say, when my people will obey me, then I say that they are needy of me. And I say it is because it is me, the living God, who does by the power of my spirit, lead them in that way. Now I say this day, be thankful to be able to receive what it is that I give you, and be guided forth by me. And I say, be thankful that I give to you the light upon the path, that you can be found rejoicing in me. For I say, when you will indeed be thankful for what it is that I give you, and ever expressing your desire to please me, then I say that I, the living God, will be pleased in me. But I say for the ones who are ever living and murmuring and complaining and thinking they know a better way, it is nothing but deceit. For I say when men will give way to pride, then I say they are grossly deceived. But I say when men will continue to walk in humility before me, then I say that they are guided for. Now I say it is me, the living God, who has good and not evil intended for my own. And it is me, the living God, who will bring forth the ones who will believe upon me. Therefore I say, even now continue to partake of that which I give you day after day. And I say, continue to be thankful that in me you are guided in the way that is the life eternal. I say, continue to be thankful each day that I am the one who will purpose, direct, and bring you forth. And I say, continue to be thankful each day that I am the one who will give you my life. For I say, when you will continue in that which I, the living God, do intend, then I say you are brought forth. And I say you are given the strength, the truth, and the mercy revealed. For I say it is me, the living God, who does hear the cries of the humble, the ones who see how much they need me. But I say for the ones who are ever confident and proud of their own estate, they are trusting in deceit and the lies of the same. Now I say this day, let it be me, the living God, who will direct you and instruct you and guide you forth. And let it be me, the living God, who will give to you the light upon the path that you can be strengthened in the same. For I say it is a privilege to look unto me as the one who is able and be guided forth by me. And I say it is a privilege to be partaking time and again of the way that I guide you in life. For I say that I, the living God, do find joy in a people who will be subject to the mind of my spirit and obey the same. And I say that I find my pleasure in the people who remain ever faithful and true unto me. Now I say you are living in times of gross adultery, when so many have gone according in the spirit to take up other gods. And I say they pursue their lovers, they go after the same, all to their own destruction. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call my people to be full of boredom, not for any disguise. That is, not to be deceived, led astray, and taken into the way of death. But I say that I call my people to be uplifted, guided, and directed by me. And I say that I call my people to rejoice in the truth, the light, and the mercy that I give to my own. Now I say this day, when you truly consider that it is me, the living God, that you are privileged to look unto, that it is me, the living God, that you are privileged to believe in, to trust, to serve, I say, be guided forth each day by me. And I say, be thankful that I give to you the truth and the light, the mercy, the purpose, and the hope of who I am. And I say, be thankful that you are given exactly what you need day after day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will prove to be the righteousness, the truth, and the mercy revealed. And it is me, the living God, who will prove to be the resource that is provided unto you as you believe upon me. Now I say, this day, why not be glad even now that you can continue to look unto me, to believe me, to trust me, and to serve me each day. And I say, why not be glad even now that you may come forth in all that I offer, for I am the I am. That is, I am the God of resource, the God of truth, and the God of light intended. And I say that I am the one who guides you each and every day. Now I say, therefore, this day be steadily continuing to look unto me, to believe me, to trust me, 
and to serve me day after day. And I say, be steadily coming forth in that which I will give to you, for you are mine. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will prove to be righteousness, prove to be truth, prove to be mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will prove to be the one who will give you all that you need. For I say that I will give unto you that which is goodness, that which is truth, and that which is strength day after day. But I say for the ones who turn to other lovers, other gods, I say they are taken down in the curses of the saints. And I say that they will be devoured by the very sources they look to, and I say they will be overwhelmed. For I say when you trust in any other way than the way that I give, you are trusting in lies. Now I say there are many in these times, they are being swept up in the causes that are being perpetrated by those who think they will gain power by the confusion of the saints. For I say there are lies on every hand, there are liars promoting such lies. And I say there is deception being put forth as truth when it absolutely is not truth at all. And I say there are many who love the confusion of these times, for they imagine they get by with their sin in it all. But I say that the truth of it is, it is me, the living God, who does see what it is that men do, and I hold them accountable for the same. Therefore, I say, even now, be glad to continue looking to me as the resource, as the one you are able to serve. And I say, continue to be looking unto me as the one true God who is able to guide you in my life. For I say, when you will continue in the way that I've given, the way that is truth and life and mercy revealed, and I say, you are brought forth in me. And I say, you are given the hope, the strength, the truth that I alone do bring. For I say, it is through me, the living God, that the light is provided, the truth is given, and the hope is bestowed upon all who are looking unto me. And I say, when men will go in any other way than the way that I offer, they go into lies. I say, this day do not, absolutely do not go into lies, but I say, be brought forth in my truth. And I say, be uplifted and strengthened, directed and ever purposed in all that I give. Now I say, this day, why not continue to look to me as the one who is able to guide you day after day. And I say, why not continue to trust that I am the resource, the hope and the mercy revealed. For I say, when you will indeed be thankful to partake of what I give, then yes, you are guided in life. And I say, when you will be thankful to walk in the way that I've offered, I say, you are kept each day by me. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do not call you to stray from me, to go after other gods, other lovers, and think they have something to thee. But I say that I call you to continue each day, ever being guided forth by me. For I say, through me, the living God, so is the hope, the truth, the mercy, and the light given day after day. And I say, through me, the living God, my people are ever guided in the truth, the mercy revealed. Now I say, this day there are many factions in these times, striving to achieve the ultimate power, and thinking somehow they do just that. But I say that the truth of it is, they are deceived in all of their inventions, in all of their fabrications and lies. And I say they are drunk and intoxicated on pride, realizing not that they will never have what it is that they think they must be. And I say they will live and die and perish in sin and be damned forever because of the way they have chosen to believe. Now I say this day count it a privilege to believe upon me, to know that I am the one who guides you day after day. And I say count it a privilege to be coming forth in that which I offer, which is the truth and the light. For I say when you will be adhering to me as the one true God who is able, then you are guided forth by me. And I say when you will be partaking of all that I give, then I say you live in me. For I say it is a good thing to keep on believing and trusting, to keep on walking uprightly and being brought forth in my way. And I say it is a good thing to be ever strengthened in that which I give you, which is the light, the truth, and the mercy revealed. For I say when my people will be an adherence unto me, ever being guided forth by me, then I say they can come forth rejoicing in me. That is, to be able to partake of newness of life, to be able to be ever guided in truth and directed in my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, absolutely do not intend that my own people would take up the ways, the deeds, the goals, and even the behaviors of the heathen and claim that it is pleasing me. For I say it is me, the living God, who remains the God of holiness and standard revealed. And I say that the ones who will obey and be guided in my way, they are directed in light. But I say for the ones who will bend the knee and subject themselves to perversion and vileness and all manner of wickedness in order to gain what they think is some spiritual place, I say they are grossly deceived. 
For I say that I, the living God, do not call my people to embrace evil in any disguise. And I say that I do not call my people to be in agreement, in covenant, in friendship with those who are hating me. But I say that I call my people to believe upon me, to trust me, and to serve only me. For I say it is in me, the living God, that the righteousness, the truth, the mercy, and the strength are given. Therefore I say, be faithful, be true, be steadily continuing to look unto me as the resource that you may partake of day by day. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who gives to you the light, the purpose, and the truth day after day. And I say, be thankful that when you will indeed cry out unto me and walk uprightly in all that I've asked of thee, then I say that I always hear you when you cry. And I say that I will in my time give you the answer that is according to my will. Now I say, this day do not stray from me, go according and take up other gods. But I say, be ever purposed in that which I give you day after day. And I say, be ever thankful for the privilege that you have been given to believe upon me. For I say, it is in me, the living God, that the life and the truth, the mercy and the strength are provided. And it is in me, the living God, that you are shown the way wherein you are ever able to accept what it is that is in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives to you what you need. It is me, the living God, who does punish the evildoers, and I have declared my war upon them. Therefore, I say, be steadily walking and living in the fear of me, that in the times of confusion you are not lured out of my way. And I say, do not be accepting enemies who may appear and declare they are so friendly unto thee. For I say, consider what source they are from. I say that it is the evil the wicked one sent to destroy. And I say, you are not meant to be deceived by smooth words and flattering phrases, but I say, you are meant to keep sober in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does guide the ones who obey and keep them in my way. I say, be thankful even now that in these times when racism is rising and men are planning revolt and all manner of upheaval, that you can be kept in me. For I say, you are not meant to be subject to the plans of the wicked. You are meant to be in subjectivity unto me. And I say, you are meant to thank me that it is me, the living God, who keeps you each day, that you are not found under holy war. You had a loss in the Bible. David against Goliath? That's serious a loss. Okay, he's rushing headlong against the Goliath. It's like, David, you might want to think about this a little bit. No, I'm not weighing the impossibility. Oh my god! So be it! It's a cult! Repent or you will all perish. No, that's, that's what Jesus said. Repent or you will all perish. The Chavaria.